for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. Now, I know y'all sick of that song now. Everybody sick of that song. <laughs> I love it. Hell, I like Bruno Mars. Remind me of the girl to turn me out. I'm still looking for that hussy. Wasn't a good experience, let me just say that much. All lesbian experiences are not exceptional, just so you know, okay? But anyway, we're going we gonna to move forward. But, um... Okay, guys, today I want to talk about um, the Libra and the Aquarius, right? Tony Braxton and Baby, Birdman, the dude, the, the stocky dude with all the shiz on his face, okay? Now, you know I talked yesterday about Nas and Nikki not being... Um, Actually, not being a real relationship, actually being some type of hoax. That's what I believe. I don't care what you people come down and say. And I respect Nas. Y'all think I wasn't in the train? Uh, on Nas train? On don't cross, walk in front of me, dude? Because you might just get the, 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 the ninja put on you, boy? You think I wasn't that female that wanted to give Nas the meaning of love and life? I was. I'm a Nas fan. Always been a Nas fan. Now, what's strange to me is that he got damn 45 and still look 22. Something ain't right about that now. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. You know. But for all you cougars, cause they, they call me a cougar. I'm not, I'm not a cougar. I prefer a man my own age. It just so happened that all these young dudes be in my DM. And, and it's just, it's an abomination. It's an abomination. But y'all, the people that are coming at me saying Nas has loyal followers. He, um, he, um, doesn't need to pull stunts like this. Use the MF and lie. If Beyonce and Jay-Z billionaires can pull stunts, why can't Nas pull stunts? You feel me? Why? Everybody pull a stunt. If Aretha Franklin, 79 or 87 or 92 year old ass is pulling stunts to be relevant, when she hit that joker with the Dion Wark, when she, you know, Curry Dion Wark, if any of you guys old enough to remember, and then turn around and put an album out. If Aretha Franklin, the queen of soul, a 97 year old woman can pull a stunt, why in the heck can't Nas? Nobody. Is above pulling the stunt. And I'ma pull it in and I'ma get back to the topic at hand. Baby and Tony Braxton. Okay. And I want some feedback on this, right? Now y'all know I'm a zodiac person. The Aquarius and the Libra work very, very well together. Most times when you see a Libra working well with a strong sign like a Leo, an Aries, a Sagittarius, or or an Aquarius, it's because we know how to tune people out. We know how to just ignore. We've mastered that. We've mastered the art of somebody going in and talking all that BS and us shutting down and thinking about what we're going to eat for lunch. So, boom, that's, that's the reality of it. What's going on is... When y'all be in our face talking that bra bra and that BS to us, we thinking about what we going to do for lunch. That's what's going on in our brain. That's how we able to survive with aggressive signs like that. Because you know, as a Libra, we love peace. We don't want all that bra bra in our face. We don't want all that. We want peace until we ready to bra bra. When we ready to bra bra, then we can turn up. But in most cases, you know, we so random. We don't know when it's going to happen. But when you see people, Libras, and they're in relationships, and you're like, why did she mess with him? Ugh, he is terrible. He's an asshole. That's because we shut that asshole part out. When they act in the ass, we ignore it. So, which leads me to 
Um, it's coming out that the relationship between Baby and Tony Braxton is false. What I th- and you know they talking about the rumors with the dude being gay. Um, I don't know if the dude gay. He might be bi. He might be. I don't know. You know, but because I kind of me being a Libra, I kind of see in her face. Um, I'm just here. The ignore the block that we can do. So if he's doing things that's annoying her, she's just blocking it. So that could possibly be the stoic look on her face because people are saying there's no chemistry between the two. She just looks like she's sitting there and just smiling from time to time. I mean, she just did. I mean, baby is, I mean, I mean, she, she seems very strategic. Okay. I didn't go into bankruptcy seven times. You know, I'm not going to keep going into bankruptcy, but I want nice things. Hell, he already messed up. Let him spend my his money on him. Now I sit up here and I be quiet and look at him be a fool and put some, you know, wait for people to put some respect on his name. However, whatever. What the buzz is that people are saying that it's visibly noticeable that Tony Braxton is enamored with Babyface. Whereas she's with Baby and she just seems like I'm here. I'm here. That's what I'm doing. I'm standing next to the ninja with the tattoos on his face who is clearly a demon. Clearly. I mean, I have messed with a demon or two. Actually, I've messed with one. Actually, two demons in my life, but And I just stood next to him like I'm standing next to the demon. You know. But it could be, you know, and then they're saying that if the relationship is a, um, is a deal. You know, whereas I can see because baby's reputation is like terrible right now. Terrible. And how better to fix it is to have him walking around with one of America's sweethearts, Tony Braxton. Heck, she need money. If she gonna be a girlfriend for hire, heck, why not? She need it. She want it. She like money. She a Libra. She like nice things. We're enamored with shiny and new and 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 different. We are. It just so happened with me. I don't like to get other people shiny, new, and different. You know, I'm not for all that. Me, I'm the type of person, I get my own shiny new and different. Because I don't like it when a ninja be talking sh- shiz to me. So, instead of me, I mean, I'm not saying I haven't received gifts before. But what I'm saying is, instead of me going to a ninja and saying, excuse me, sir. I'd like to have this new purse. I'd just be like, forget it. And i get my own purse. Instead of me being enamored with another dude ride, I buy my own 6 Series. You feel me? And then when I want something else to drive, I buy a three series. You feel me? So I get my own luxury vehicles. I don't need you to ride around in your luxury car. I got my own luxury cars. I buy my own. I got my own purses. You know, I buy my own shits. So I buy my own glitz and glamour. So y'all, you know, uh uh-uh. This ain't no vagina for hire over here, sir. You know? But like I said, I didn't date a demon before. And I have had, you know, some choices to make. And I'm just saying. Anyway, guys, it is Wednesday. The week is going past faster than you think. I won't be in front of the camera again until, I don't know, maybe Friday. Friday, for sure, guys, I will be doing my... YouTube live. If you are a Patreon, I need you guys to message me and tell me what we're going to talk about this Friday. Friday between 8 and 10. Y'all know what it is. If you're not a Patreon, hit the link below and join for as little as a dollar a month. You guys can contribute more if you want to. It's up to you. I ain't mad. Whatever you do, I ain't mad. My naysayers and my Patreon loves. 
Have a good Wednesday. Deuce.